So someone that actually was an XXL freshman, not not just in my heart, but actually named an XXL freshman, Playboy Cardi, also dropped uh, his his debut album, which, right? You know, Surprise dropped, album. Yeah, a mixtape, uh, by self titled mixtape last year, right? right. Two years, mm-hmm. yeah, last year. Um, now he he gained a lot of acclaim through SoundCloud, uh, if I if I'm correct, um, and. Again, you know, kind of my take on this album was I was a little underwhelmed. I think there's a lot here, but it, what stood out most was uh, this guy Pierre Bourne. His oh yeah, producer, he's great, man. Like, oh yeah, he he, he made Magnolia. He he oh. helped he helped make Cardi. He he was like the breakout producer of 2017. He yeah, I, I thought his production on this was was fantastic. Um, even from from the intro track, uh, which I actually think that one was was guest produced, but. Um, I mean, like the whole just sound of it, I think, was what stood out to me most. Cardi's parts were kind of meh. Right. Um, I mean, what what was your take on this? Did you enjoy it more than I did? Uh, well, yeah, I think to your point, like Cardi's parts are meh. Cardi is not a he's he's very much the opposite of T Grizzly. Right. He's not going to put together tight 16s. He's not going to tell you anything that introspective. Uh, mm-hmm. T Grizzly is way far ahead of him in that department. But what Cardi does bring is just like swagger and ad libs and just vibes mm-hmm. and especially when meeting with a good beat uh, usually works out well um I, I i wasn't the biggest fan of this album which is called die lit which i think is a fucking awesome uh, album title especially <laughs> for today well uh, with the with the cover art it was yeah like for sure the crowd looks awesome. yeah but I, I think really the reason i didn't like it so much is, is like, i just didn't find songs that jumped out to me the way his old songs had mm-hmm. like like self-titled last year obviously had magnolia but also had uh woke up like this with uzi and new Chapo with rocky and then before that his like first like breakout songs uh broke boy with his infamous music video and uh fetty like i like all those songs more than i like anything on this and it's not like he's doing anything that different i think he kind of there's some like vocal changes obviously he distorted his voice in some of these songs um but it just seems like he and i, th- I, feel, I feel like the bryce and tiller feature was pretty underwhelming and it, that's mm-hmm. disappointing because bryce and tiller does not do a lot of features um I thought the Travis song was was pretty solid, uh, just because the vibe, the, the way Travis has been going right now, actually kind of really it's meshes, so meshes well with Cardi. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, the vibes are there. Um, I think my favorite songs were Shooter with yep. Uzi. That was a great Uzi feature, mm-hmm. and Lean for Real with a way too short Skepta feature. My ears perked the fuck up when Skepta <laughs> came on. Man, for for some reason, I feel like every time Skepta is like. It's on a track. You he just jumps off like skipped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's definitely wonderful. Yeah. So it seems like for both of these, we're we're a little bit underwhelmed on T Grizzly and Playboy Cardi. 